I always say I like Nemo. You know why? Why? Because Nemo has a thing that doesn't work. It's like my hand. That doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't stop you, right? No, I always say my disability always makes me different. The story I'm about to tell you is about a small family in Sydney, Ohio. A caring neighbor and a beautiful girl with half a brain. Her name's Rosalind Abbott, and you heard me right, Roz has half a brain. She was born with a whole brain, but when she was three years old, she had a hemispherectomy due to a rare disease called Rasmussen encephalitis. She's only one of 500 cases worldwide. Rasmussen caused Roz to have so many seizures that disconnecting the right side of her brain was the last and only alternative to saving her life. All I really knew was I was on a plane because her neighbor was on a walk a few months ago and noticed Roz struggling to get in the old family car. He remembered Chive Charity specializes in rare medical conditions, so he did what any good neighbors do and he took action. He called his local Chive chapter and they called us and now Brian Mercedes and I were on a plane to Sydney, Ohio. We're in Sydney, Ohio. We just flew in from Austin. Roslyn and her family just think we're showing up to celebrate her five years since her one hemisphere of her brain was removed. They have no idea that they're about to become the new Chive Charity Splash recipient. Hi, nice to meet you. How's it going? What kind of blew my mind is that Roz can talk just fine. Hi, very nice to meet you. Do you hug? I hug. And she can read. In fact, she's only about a grade behind in school. Do you go to school here? I actually am homeschooled. Do you ever get to go on the playground? Yes, we do. She's also relearned how to walk as well. She can even run. The Reds even invited Roz to throw out the first pitch at a game last year. Roz's love for the Reds is everywhere around their home. It is perhaps her only flaw. My brother and I are diehard Cubs fans. To the Cincinnati Reds house. Let's pack it up, everyone. <laughs> Get out of here. What she's missing are things you never think of. Like Roz never gets tired because the part of her brain that tells you that you're getting tired, it's missing. So she doesn't go to sleep until like midnight, one o'clock, and I can put her up in bed with her mask on. She just can't options. go to sleep. So tell me about this. It's my sleeping machine. I have to wear it always at night because my brain can't tell me to breathe. She can't go a night without her breathing machine. When we had snow, we lost power for about three hours. He left and drove all the way up to where he works to see if he could get a generator because of her breathing machine. She stops breathing about 100 times a night. She stops breathing 100 times a night? Without the machine. Do you ever, does that wake you up? No, not at all. No, that's what's scary. <laughs> yeah. And this is the fifth anniversary? Yeah, today okay. it would have been the day that she had the 120 electrodes put right onto her brain. And she sat there for a week with it in her head while they watched the seizures happen. I had to shave my head. You did have to shave your head. You had a Miley Cyrus do for a while, didn't you? <laughs> I like that. Right? Before her surgery, the doctors warned Raza's parents that she would probably lose her imagination. I know Ariel. Look at this stuff. stuff. Isn't, Isn't it neat? neat? Wouldn't you, you say my collection's complete? complete? Wouldn't, Wouldn't you think, think I'm the girl, girl, the girl who has everything? Even the best neurologist will tell you that even today, the brain still remains a mystery. It is resilient, so resilient that an eight-year-old brain has so much plasticity that it can reorganize so that the damage can be corrected by rerouting signals along a different pathway. Now we're matching. Simply put, the brain has the ability to rewrite itself. What is your There's... favorite song? Well, the MVIP, the Kalada. Did you have half a blade? <laughs> <laughs> Her mother, Ann, wrote to me. I remember her one year post-surgery follow-up when Roz walked into the office as if she had nothing wrong. She was able to jump and she was showing them all her newly acquired dance moves. She was determined to make tap dance her reality. And it reminded me there's only one word that I never hear Roz say. She never says the word can't. What are you doing? She was back in tap class nine months after having half of her brain disconnected. <laughs> I was in tap class nine months after having my brain removed. 
What's your excuse? <laughs> Every day, Roz will face the most unique set of hurdles and take them head on. I did it. Good job. We have a lot to learn from this girl. Our you know, and, and for all that is missing, the part of her that feels love and compassion for others is very much present. Roz used the touchscreen tablet we bought for her to make us all individual thank you notes. You did everyone different. Yes. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and find the best one, so that's for me. <laughs> all day I've been trying to get Roz to learn the Cubs victory song, Go Cubs Go. Um, she was having none of it, so I changed the topic to something she very much cared about. You know what you can't get in the mail? What? That we came to give you? What? A brand new car. What the heck? I'm not expecting that. I no one told you. No, my mom didn't even tell me. I didn't know. Did you, you think you, a brand new car would be good for you? What do you want to say, Dad? Because we had that call for like five years now. Oh, it's been a little bit longer, but it. Our gas gauge hasn't worked on it for probably three years. So I have to, I don't even know how much gas is in. I just do it by like how many miles that we've driven each time. When we asked Roz what kind of van she wanted, she didn't hesitate. Hondo. 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 Uh, uh, Odyssey. What color? Gray. You want gray? <laughs> Today we're launching a campaign to get Roz her new gray Honda Odyssey, I promised her. Please become part of her story by donating and sharing her story with a friend. Uh, share this story with the Cincinnati Reds, too. They got some money. Oh, crap. And I almost forgot, and this is super important. You remember those two girls that you saw in Roz's house? Yes, those two girls. Uh, they drove up from Dayton, and they worked for this amazing company called Stratacash. They came to tell Roz that they would be matching every single dollar donated up to $25,000. Thanks to Stratacash, every dollar you donate is actually worth double. Stratacash! Thank you, Chuck Charities. You know what we do here in our house before we leave? <laughs> He's dancing. Go, Cubs, go. Everybody. Go, Cubs, go. Hey, <laughs> Chicago, what do you say? The Cubs are going to win today.